What up you guys, it's Christina and I am so happy to be back in the kitchen with you today because I'm gonna be sharing with you some delicious warm recipes that are raw vegan. One of the greatest revelations that I have had since being a raw vegan is that you can enjoy some warm foods that are still raw vegan. Now, allow me to explain. I've spent a lot of time in Bali the past couple of years running retreats and I've learned so much from different raw vegan chefs around the world. And oftentimes when you visit raw vegan restaurants, they'll have more of gourmet things for you to try. And oftentimes they'll use a dehydrator to warm the foods but not completely cook them. Now, in the raw food world, we don't cook things because it kills the nutrients or it denatures the protein. So the dehydrator is essentially the oven of the raw food world. And I'm really excited today because I'm gonna be sharing with you a lot of recipes actually that you can make in a dehydrator that are good to just enjoy a meal with. I'm gonna be sharing with you how to make a lasagna, a raw vegan lasagna, a macadamia nut pesto, both of them that are warm that you can make in a dehydrator, as well as other fun snacks that you can enjoy at any time and that are perfect to enjoy as a movie snack as well. During spring, summer, and even fall, it can be really easy to be a raw vegan because it can be hot outside and it's easy just to live off of fruits and greens and salads, juices and smoothies. But as the winter comes, it can become a bit more challenging. And I find that one of the most frequently asked questions that I get is, how do you stay raw in winter and what could I possibly have that's warm that can help me satisfy these cravings? This is where I'll recommend some dehydrated recipes. Now, I personally don't eat dehydrated foods all the time. I probably enjoy them every full moon, right? A couple times a month. I will say though that it is really nice to have a dehydrator during winter just so that you can be creative in the kitchen and you can make more recipes that might satisfy those cravings. To make the recipes exactly as I am sharing with you today, you will need a dehydrator. And the brand that I recommend the most, because it is the best brand of dehydrators out there, Excalibur Dehydrators take the cake. And I know many raw food professional kitchens around the world and schools around the world use Excalibur because they are the best. Top quality, last for years, they have so many different kinds of dehydrators. You can get five trays, seven tray, nine trays, 10 tray. I have a 10 tray in my kitchen, but please keep in mind, you don't have to get a 10 tray to start off with. I actually recommend that people start with a five tray just so that you can get the hang and have it in your kitchen and they're more easy to store. The benefit of using a dehydrator in your kitchen as opposed to an oven is that the dehydrator doesn't cook your food. It doesn't kill the nutrients. It doesn't denature the proteins. You can set the electric timer on here. You can set the temperature. You can set it to 118 degrees or below. You can set it for six hours up to two days and you can make whatever you want in this dehydrator. Anything that is cooked above 118 degrees is considered not raw. So anything 118 degrees and below is still considered a raw vegan food, which is why I'm saying here, you can still enjoy some dishes that are warm, that are raw vegan. This video is in support of and in collaboration with Excalibur Dehydrators. Now I actually reached out to them uh, before making this video because I knew that some of you would need access to a dehydrator if you wanted to try some of these recipes and they've been so kind as to give us a 15% discount code for those of you who would like to try one of their dehydrators. All you need to do is use the code fully raw at checkout. You'll get 15% off your entire order. Now that's a pretty great deal for dehydrators. So I would definitely take advantage of that. If you haven't already gotten a dehydrator, if you don't have one in your home, please check out the links below. Check out Excalibur, see what they're all about. An amazing company. I can assure you that you will not find a better quality dehydrator out there. This is the one I have in my kitchen. I love it. I've had a five tray. I've recently upgraded to a 10 tray. I've had Excalibur in my kitchen for almost 15 years now. 
So if you're interested in getting a dehydrator, please check out Excalibur Dehydrators. Click on the links below and use the code fully raw for a 15% off discount. Take advantage of it if you can. Also, I just want to add, you can make the recipes that I'm going to be sharing with you today without a dehydrator. They won't necessarily come out the same. They won't be warm. They won't have a certain firmer texture to them, but yes, you can still make the recipes I'm sharing with you today without a dehydrator if needed. But I definitely think if you're wanting to enjoy some warm recipes or even some movie snacks or treats that are different in the raw food world, or if you want to learn how to make some gourmet dishes, you need a dehydrator in your kitchen. A raw food kitchen is not complete without a dehydrator, and this is the one I have in mind. The recipes that I'm gonna be sharing with you today are already in my Fully Raw Vegan recipe app. There's more than 400 recipes in these apps. So download my app if you haven't already. It's available on iTunes and Google Play. So many delicious yummies waiting there for you to enjoy, and I've also included those for you in the links below. So with all that being said, let's make these delicious recipes. Are you ready? Let's get started. Let's heat it up. Let's warm it up. Let's heat it up. Let's warm it up. The first recipe that I'm gonna be sharing with you today is my famous fully raw vegan lasagna. And this recipe is not only in my recipe app, but it's also in my book. That's right, I have a published book and this is one of the featured recipes in my book. The only difference in this recipe today is that I will be putting the final product in a dehydrator to warm it so that it's a little bit more cheesy and gooey and melted together. You can choose to make this lasagna in a Pyrex and cut it up into separate quarters or you can make them individually like I'm gonna show you today. Basically, I'm making them in individual portions and each one of these is extremely filling and could be an entire meal for you. So what you're first gonna do is slice your zucchini in a mandolin slicer at 1.5 centimeters thick. You can try to use a knife but I find that it's easier to use a mandolin slicer here so that all of your slices end up coming out the same size. Once you've finished mandolin slicing your zucchinis, you can go ahead and layer them in parts of three, just like I'm doing here. I'm basically using the zucchini as the pasta layers in this lasagna. Once you've got your base of zucchini down, I'm going to layer it with an herbalicious green pesto spread, a thick, chunky, sun-dried tomato marinara, and a pine nut cheese. To make the Herbalicious spread, you'll see here that I have tons of greens and herbs. Everything from arugula to cilantro, fresh basil, garlic, a little bit of pink salt, baby spinach and Swiss chard, green onions, and any other Italian herbs that might go here like parsley, oregano, or thyme. I process these in a food processor until it becomes like a pesto spread. And voila, here you have what I like to call my herbalicious spread. This will be the first layer that I add on top of the zucchini. Next on top of that, I'll be adding my pine nut cream cheese. And I'll make this by adding into a blender my pine nuts, garlic, lemon juice, and you can even add some extra cashews in there as well if you'd like. Once you blend this up and it becomes thick like a cheese, you can spread it on top of your Herbalicious spread. Add one more layer of zucchini. And now for our chunky sun-dried tomato marinara in a blender, a high-speed blender of your choice. You can add in cherry tomatoes, sun-dried tomatoes, oregano, basil, garlic if you'd like. The exact ingredients for this marinara are in my book as well as in my app. Blend this up until it becomes like a thick spread and then you can add this on top of the next zucchini layer. There's actually a full picture diagram with steps in my book on how to assemble this lasagna if you need more assistance. After you've added on the marinara, you can choose to layer the tomato sauce, the Herbalicious spread, and the pine nut cheese, however you'd like. You can see that I'm kind of being creative here with maybe adding two at a time and then a layer of zucchini 
and then more marinara, more delicious bread, more pine nut cheese, until it becomes as tall or thick as I desire. I will typically make sure that I have at least three layers of zucchinis in my lasagna. Then you can top it with freshly chopped basil and cherry tomatoes. Once that you have your lasagnas assembled, you can go ahead and add them into your Excalibur dehydrator. Set your dehydrator between 115 and 118 degrees for at least two to three hours. Now remember, our goal here is just to warm it up and not to fully dehydrate it, which is why I'm saying you just need a couple of hours in the dehydrator for this. However, if you'd like to go for at least six hours, you can do that as well and see what happens. Bon appetit, ladies and gentlemen. How delicious does this fully raw lasagna look? This recipe is so good. You have absolutely no idea how delicious it is. I cannot wait for you to give it a try. Who doesn't love a huge serving of lasagna on their plate, especially when it's raw vegan, cruelty-free, guilt-free, and good for you too. The next recipe that I'm gonna be sharing with you today is a macadamia nut pesto kelp noodle pasta. If you've never had kelp noodles before, I definitely recommend giving them a try. Sometimes I think they are better or more fun than eating pasta because these noodles are literally kelp noodles made from seaweed. To get them soft like this, I recommend soaking them in warm water with lemon juice and a bit of pink Himalayan salt. And once you drain them, they'll come out soft like this and they're perfect to use as a pasta alternative. To make the pesto, add into your food processor tons and tons of fresh basil, you can also add some cilantro in here, fresh garlic, macadamia nuts, and you can also add in some extra pine nuts or even avocado if you want it to be a little bit more creamy. Once you've combined this in your food processor, it should be thick like a pesto, and all you need to do at this point is mix it in with your kelp noodles. I'm gonna go ahead and add all these noodles once mixed into a glass Pyrex to make it easier to heat in the dehydrator. So once you have your noodles in the Pyrex, go ahead and place it in the dehydrator and you can set it to the exact same settings as your lasagna. You can set it to about 115 to 118 degrees for two or three hours. This is just enough time to warm it up so that it is warm and creamy and delicious as soon as you pull it out how yummy do these noodles look? I am such a fan of kelp noodles and this macadamia nut pesto is the bombdiggity.com. I know you will love it. Now I've shared with you two delicious meal ideas, but don't forget a dehydrator is also really great to have just to make snacks. The holidays are coming up and two really fun movie night snacks that you can make are kale chips and cauliflower buffalo wings. I know these might look a little complicated, but they're actually so easy to make. All you have to do is chop up the cauliflower and dip it in a red sauce made with cherry tomatoes, sun-dried tomatoes, carrots, turmeric, chili powder, cumin, paprika, cayenne, ginger, lemon, cilantro, basil, and rosemary. It's basically a very, very healthy version of a non-chicken wing. <laughs> if you're looking for a great movie snack, cauliflower wings are one of my favorite, and the exact recipe for the sauce is in my app. And if you're looking for the perfect kale chips to make, Kale chips are also another great snack to have at any time, not just for a movie snack, but even just to bring with you on the go. And believe it or not, but I've never done a kale chip recipe before on my YouTube channel. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna be sharing with you this recipe next because the sauce on these chips are bomb. Stay tuned and get ready for this one. The kale chips and buffalo wings are just a few of the ideas of creations that you can make in a dehydrator that are warm or fun or healthy snacks to get you through the holiday season. I'm super excited to be sharing with you some more warm meals from the dehydrator as we enter the winter. Please let me know if you've liked these ideas below. I hope you all get a chance to enjoy these recipes because I will tell you the lasagna and the pasta are delicious 
And I know that me and Cash and Coco are gonna be enjoying the rest of these snacks the rest of the weekend as well. I hope you all have loved the recipes that I'm sharing with you today. If you have, please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because there is only more epicness to come. If you guys are interested in checking out Excalibur dehydrators, please click on the links in the description below. You will not be disappointed. Excalibur is amazing and they've been so kind as to offer us a 15% off discount. So use the code fully raw, take advantage of this now. You don't have to get a 10 tray. You can check out their five trays, their nine trays, whichever one works best for your kitchen. If you're looking for more raw vegan recipes, download my fully raw app. The links are below. You can access it on iTunes or Google play. And I've added all of the recipes from today into my app for you as well. Thank you all so much for joining me in today's video. I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Sending you all my hugs and my love, and I'll see you soon.